The Magic School Bus Gets Cold Feet, written by Joanna Cole and illustrated by Bruce Deegan. When you're in Miss Frizzle's class, things never happen the way they're supposed to. Like the other day, when Liz the class lizard was missing. We tore up the whole classroom, but we couldn't find her anywhere. Even her habitat was missing. Maybe she moved into another classroom. No, Liz would never leave us. We were just about to give up hope when Miss Frizzle blew into the room. She was riding a giant alligator balloon that had sprung a leak. Miss Frizzle, Liz is missing, Phoebe cried. Oh, I know, Miss Frizzle said, and so is the air from my alligator. The class was puzzled. Miss Frizzle didn't seem to worry about Liz at all. Miss Frizzle sounds so unconcerned. Cold blooded is more like it. Wanda didn't notice. She was busy looking for clues. Then she said, I found a note. It's written in Lizard, Wanda cried. Can you read it, Miss Frizzle? Let's see, Miss Frizzle said. Claw polish, scale moisturizer, fang paste. That sounds like a packing list, Tim cried. Then Liz did move out. Arnold found another clue, a page torn out of a magazine. It showed a picture of the big white building. I bet this is where she went, Arnold said. The address is right here. The place where Liz moved is called the Herp Ha, Arnold said. Wanda shook her head. The rest of the ha is torn off, she said. It's not Herp Ha, it's Herp something else. Okay, but what's a Herp? Ralphie asked. Miss Frizzle smiled. Good question, Ralphie. Quite simply, a herp is a reptile. And Liz is a lizard, which makes her a reptile, Keisha said. That still doesn't explain why Liz would pack up and leave us, Wanda said. She could be in danger. We have to rescue her. Well then, let's get to the bus. Is a rescue mission the same as a field trip? The bus pulled up to the address. Wanda read the sign in in front of the building. Herp Haven, she said. I told you it wasn't her paw. Haven means a safe place, said Dorothy Ann. Ralphie saw another sign. Yikes, an alligator crossing. Before the class could get a close look at the alligators, a large car pulled up and a woman got out. She was holding a leash with a giant tortoise on one end. A tall white man in a white suit opened the front door. I want my tortoise toasted and stuffed, just like the last one, the woman told him. The class couldn't believe their ears. Toasted and stuffed? It sounds like that turtle is about to become somebody's dinner, Carlos cried. What if Liz is next, Phoebe wailed. If only we could get inside. Wanda tried to get inside, but it didn't work. The man at the door pulled out a long scroll of paper. There is a list of requirements that must be met before entry is allowed, he said. Body temperature, changeable. Sweat glands, none. Scales or skin, allowed. Hair, not allowed. So you see, I cannot let you in. Good day. He handed Wanda the list and shut the door with a loud bang. Back on the bus, the class examined the list. Body temperature, changeable, Arnold read. Carlos sighed. Well, that leaves us out. Our body temperature stays mostly the same. That's why we're called warm-blooded, Keisha said. Tim looked thoughtful. Then, is a reptile cold-blooded? All reptiles are cold-blooded, Miss Frizzle replied. Cold-blooded, old-blooded, what we need is a plan. What we really need is a disguise. I've got it, Dorothy Ann cried. In ancient times, Greek soldiers built a huge wooden horse and they hid inside it to fool their enemy. It was called the Trojan horse. I know, Phoebe said. We can turn the bus into a Trojan alligator. Phoebe stood outside the bus. Miss Frizzle pulled a lever. Whoosh! Green smoke filled the air. When the smoke cleared, Phoebe saw that the bus had shrunk. It looked just like a life-sized alligator. It's a busigator now, Phoebe cried. Phoebe pulled a leash around the busigator and walked up to the front door. Man, this is what I call an inside job. Carlos! 
The man in a white suit let Phoebe and the busigator in without a problem. What a splendid alligator! The man said. He grabbed the leash. I'll take her now. I should go with her, Phoebe said. She doesn't like to be alone. Don't worry, the man said, leading the busigator away. We just love our cold-blooded critters to death. He left Phoebe all alone. Oh no, Phoebe moaned. He's going to toast and stuff the busigator just like that tortoise. For now, we're done with part one. Thanks for listening. Here's a little sneak peek of part two, which will be uploaded tomorrow.